All right, back on the water. It's 9 a.m., another beautiful day. The lake is like glass, and uh, as a result, the bugs are terrible. They're just all over us. We have a big day today. Eight small portages. The biggest is 450, the smallest is 50. So a lot of getting in and out of the canoe today. We're backtracking a little bit today. The two portages we did yesterday to get into this lake we'll have to do again to get out and we'll be back on Esma. So we have two days now to get out. We have a big distance to go to get out of here. So we're gonna have to put some work in to get out. But I will save you the hassle of going through those portages again. I'll see you on the other side. All right, 10 o'clock back on Esma Lake. Making our way east to the 445 portage into 10 Mile Lake. Still haven't found much wind though. But uh, just a beautiful day. It's 11 o'clock, we're on 10 Mile Lake. We just passed the uh, 10 Mile Lodge behind us. Have the wind at our back, it's pushing us down the lake. Ran into some fishermen, they said they, they caught a few, so uh, we're gonna get our lures in there and see if we can catch something. Okay, just finished lunch, had a proper rest, proper dehydrated meal, thought we'd eat it here, well we had some wind, as you can see the bugs are all over me, as soon as we get away from the lake and there's no breeze, so, oh this portage is straight uphill going this way. A beast, but okay. I'm gonna shut the camera off. I'm getting killed here. <clears throat> There's no portage. <sighs> after one we are on hyphen backslash 
Callium Lake. Can't really read it. But uh, we did the uphill 200 meter portage. Navigated a small little beaver dam. And now we're paddling through this lake. But beautiful lake. Cliffs all around. Very nice. You see a sign? No. I don't think we still are going uphill. The whole loop is uphill? How does that make sense? <laughs> Who chose this route? Okay, it's two o'clock. We're on Dollarberry Lake now. Five portages done for the day, three more to go to get to Sam Reed Lake by the end of the day. That's the plan. Another straight uphill portage. I don't know what's going on with this loop, but every single portage seems to be uphill. Let's go check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, buddy. That is a nice fish. Nice. Nice catch, buddy. Well. All right. Took a little bit to find this portage. The portage sign is up on this tree up here. Right where Anthony is. It it blew down, couldn't find the way. Started to go down this creek. No path. So we think it's here, up this, another steep hill. So hopefully we're back on track. Three o'clock. Making good time. But yeah, another massive hill. Oh, no, no, you're on a rock, man. Hold on, I'm going in. Four o'clock, seven portages done, one to go. This next one's about 100 meters, and we're in Sam Reed for the night. It's been a long day. The uh, heat, the bugs, the portages are getting to us, so happy to get to our camp.
Last portage. Forty-five made it to sight on Sam Reed Lake. Got a beautiful sight here. Looks like another sunset coming our way. And uh, most importantly, a lot of wind. Getting the wind coming down the lake, hitting us, keeping the bugs off. Hopefully tonight it drops, temperature drops, and uh, the black flies go to sleep because they've been killing us all day. Get your spontines ready. Here's the buns. Right here. And I want a warm light. Yeah. No Franks at him? No thanks. Good job, I think. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. What a great meal.
back on the water. It's just before nine o'clock. Heading home today. Have uh, three portages to complete. A couple small ones and then an 1100 meter to finish the trip off. As you can see, another beautiful day. Nice and warm. Too warm, to be honest, for 9 a.m. And uh, not much wind yet. Expect these portages to be buggy and hot. And hopefully they're downhill. Anyways, we'll finish our paddle up. I'll see you on the portage. This way? Tight. Take a look. We'll look over here. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's there, man. Is that a portage sign? It's orange. So yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Guys, down here. We found our downhills. Serious downhills. You follow the waterfall down. So that's the second portage of the day. We have one more to do. It's 1100. And that's right there. Right across the pond there. So we'll load everything up, hop in, and get on to this last portage. <laughs> Okay, we made it out. It's 10.45. Portage took about 45 minutes. It's a hell of a portage. Long, a lot of blowdown, a lot of obstacles, and the bugs were nasty. We're uh, on Flack Lake now. No wind. <laughs> so the bugs are still chasing us from the portage, but that's all right. Our uh, takeout is just up ahead. You can see it right across the lake. If you're still watching, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for coming along with us. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate the comments, the likes, and the subscribers. We'll be back in the fall with another canoe trip. So I'll catch you on that one. I'll see you on the next video.